see, aside from my eyes being hooded, there are some main pointers I have that you could individualize for your own eyes. Firstly, since I have warm colored skin tone, I tend to use shades that are warmer. Oranges, reds, browns, and golden shades. These are shades that complement my skin tone. If you have cooler toned skin, you can simply use the same placement of shadows but switch them out for cooler toned shades. Also, since my eyes are placed closer to each other, I tend to wing out my eyeliner more, which can help your eyes look wider apart. If I had wider set eyes, I would keep my wings shorter and line my inner corners darker. So the first look is what I like to call the bronze summer look. It's a mixture of tan, orange, muted red eyeshadow, and golden shimmer. After applying a neutral base shade, I take this very pigmented reddish brown and focus it closer to the outer corner. I then start blending out towards the inner corner as well as very carefully lining the under eye. Do not underestimate the importance of this step because first of all, it takes a long time to blend eyeshadow and second of all, you need to pay careful attention to focus the pigment in the restricted areas. It's always safer to start off smaller and blend out than to risk covering too much skin with pigment. I found that applying shimmers with your finger leaves much more pigmented and concentrated placement as opposed to using any brush. So now I'm focusing the shimmer shade on the lid and oh no, I got some shimmer in my eye. Please, be careful when applying this. Do not get shimmer in your eyes. Go slow and steady. Okay, so now we're gonna get these platinum pizzazz flakes and spark up the inner corner. Some people prefer brown eyeliner, but after using black eyeliner, I can't go back to brown. Something about the jet black matte finish really brings it home for me. I'm using this maroon color to bridge between the jet black eyeliner and the bronzer eyeshadow. When you apply darker shades like this to your lower lash line, try to stick as close to the lash line as possible, and then you have the option to blend it out if you wish. And now we're done. Just going to finish up the rest of my face, and there we have it. A bronze look with a spark of orange. The next look is what I like to call Maroon Winter. Just in case you missed it, my right eye is suffering from a bit of the bioderma that leaked in while removing the previous look, so... We're just gonna use my left eye for this look. Okay, starting off with, you guessed it, the base shade. And then we're jumping right into this brown maroon shade and slowly building up the pigment, with the focal point being the outer corner that is closest to the lash line. We're then taking the Shimmer Sangria shade and applying it right in the middle of the lid. And after applying Platinum Shimmer to the inner corner, we're done with eyeshadow. I love this look so much I could wear it every day. Never thought I would say that with dark red eyeshadow, but here we are. Okay, last one for y'all is the spring shimmer look. After watching Euphoria, I started playing around with a lot of shimmer on my eyes in different colors. So instead of starting off with a neutral base shade, we're going for peach, and then we're going straight to shimmer. Basically, it's coral shimmer above and below the lash line, and gold flex focused in the middle of your lid towards the inner corner, as well as the middle of your lower lash line. So the light hits you at the right spot. Then I line my eyes with brown eyeshadow. Be sure to use a flat, denser brush. And there we go. So fresh, so clean, so simple, just like spring. There we have it. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see more and take care everybody. See you guys soon.